Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to implement bubble sort using Python. I'll explain how the bubble sort algorithm works and how to write the code to implement it. Without further ado, let's begin. So first and foremost, I would like to explain what bubble sort is for those of you that don't know. So bubble sort is an algorithm in which you can sort an array or a list by iterating through it and comparing elements that are next to each other. So you would basically compare the first element in the list to the second element. Then you would compare the second element to the third element, and then you compare the third element to the next element, and so on and so on. So now that you kind of sort of have an understanding of what bubble sort is, I'm going to show you how it actually works. So here I have two examples. All right, in example one, I have this initial array five, one, and six, and our goal is to sort this array in ascending order using bubble sort. And once bubble sort, you know, happens, it's going to return this new array, which is the sorted array, right? So Basically, what it will do is compare this first value, which is 5, to the second value, which is 1. And it's going to check if 5 is greater than 1. And since 5 is greater than 1, then it's going to swap these two values. So it's going to be 1, 5, and then 6. Okay, And then it'll check if 5 is greater than 6. Now, 5 is not greater than 6, so it'll just leave it as it is. And then this will keep running until all the items have been sorted. And once all of them have been sorted, it's going to return the new array, okay? In example number two, I have two, one, four, and three. And once bubble sort happens, it's going to return one, two, three, and four in ascending order, of course. So what it'll do here, it'll basically compare two with one and check if two is greater than one. And since two is greater than one, then it's gonna do one and then two like this. Then it's going to check if two is greater than four. Now two is less than four, so it's just going to leave it as it is, okay? Then it's gonna compare four and three. Now, is four greater than three? Yes, so it'll just swap these two values right here. And like I said previously, this algorithm will keep running until all of the elements have been sorted. And then once all of them have been sorted, it's going to return a sorted array, okay? So now that I've explained to you what bubble sort is and how it works, I'm gonna show you how to implement it in Python. So to implement the bubble sort algorithm in Python, we're gonna first need to create a function called sort array. So I'm gonna do that by doing define sort array, and then I'm gonna pass in a an array that needs to be sorted, okay? Next, I'm going to create a while loop, so I'll do while true, since we're gonna to have to be iterating over this array continuously until it has been fully sorted, okay? And then after this while loop, I'm going to create a variable called is swap and set it to false. And the reason um, that I'm creating this variable right after the while loop and setting it to false is because if we finish the first iteration and if there's any changes that are made to the array, then we're going to set this uh, variable to true. Then it's going to iterate over the array again, and then it'll be set to false again. And then it's going to check if the next indexes need to be swapped. And once all of the indexes have been checked and sorted, this variable will be set to false, meaning that the array doesn't need any updates. And if it doesn't need any changes or updates, we can return the sorted array. So now that I have this, I'm going to write a for loop. So I'll do for i in range len of array minus one, because we're only going to be iterating up until the second to last index, which will be compared to the last index, which is why there's this um, minus one, okay? So now that we have this, we're going to compare um, array of i and see if it's greater than the next index, which is array of i plus one. So we're just gonna do if array i is greater than array i plus one, then we're going to swap the two values. So we're gonna do array i comma array i plus one is equal to array i plus one comma array i, okay? And this will swap the two values, okay? And now that these values have been swap, have been um, swapped, we can set the is swapped variable to true. And next, I can do if not swapped or if not is swapped, return array, okay? And this is basically going to happen because if this variable is set to false, then that means that the array is already in ascending order and we can return the sorted array, okay? So now if we run this code by doing print um, sort array and then pass in an array. So for example, I'll just uh, pass in random numbers. So I'll just do two, one, four, three, 89, 7, 2. 
Um, and actually, I'll do this a couple times so that you can see multiple examples. So the first um, array that we pass in is this one right here. And the second array, let's say that I swap a couple of these values and add, an, add some new values. So I'll just swap the 7 and 89. So I'll do 7, 89, and then I'll add like a 42 or something over there. And then here, let's say that I create an array um, in descending order, and then we're going to be sorting it in ascending order. So we're just going to do 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. And now if we run our code by doing python3 sort.py, if you're, if you're on Windows, you're going to do python sort.py. So if I hit enter, you can see that all of these arrays have been sorted in ascending order. All right, and if all of them have been sorted correctly, then that means that our bubble sort algorithm, which is this right here, has worked properly. All right, so that's basically it for this video. And just to recap what this algorithm does in case you have any confusion, it'll first run this while loop and it's going to iterate over the array that's passed in by using a for loop. And then it's going to compare adjacent elements. And if the next element is greater than the one before it, it'll swap the values and set the is swapped variable to true. Then it's going to run again until the is swapped variable is set to false. And as it finishes sorting the, the array, the is swapped variable will be set to false because all the elements have been sorted. And if they've all been sorted, there's no need to change the value of this is swapped variable, so it'll remain false. And then we can basically return the sorted array by doing return array right here. Okay, so that's basically how this bubble sort algorithm works. So I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'd also like to say a massive thank you for 700 subscribers, which is an amazing milestone. And I really appreciate all the support that I've been receiving on this channel. So thank you so much. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.